Hello everybody again, it's Mrs. Miklos and I have another book to read to you. And this one is about, can you guess? It's a giraffe. And the book is called Giraffes Can't Dance. It's written by Giles Andreas and Guy Parker Reese. It is a very funny story and I hope you like it. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Giraffes Can't Dance. Hmm. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were artfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He looks like a giraffe to me. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Uh-oh. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. It says here, jungle dance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald, he felt so sad because it, when, when it came time to dancing, he was really very bad. Uh-oh. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. That wasn't very nice. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <clears throat> Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who had seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Looks like he's thinking about it. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. Uh-oh, <laughs> sounds like he's going to start dancing. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Whoa. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Isn't that a sweet story about Gerald the giraffe? There's gonna be a project for you to do for yourselves if you want it at home to, um, with your moms and dads to make your own very your very own giraffe. And then also there's a link to 
the silly dance contest, which do you remember we used to do that at school all the time? So we're gonna put the link on there and maybe you can teach your family how to do the silly dance contest. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye, everybody. I love you all. Take care.